Berkeley slobber knocker. Z-Man, Jackhammer, the king of all chatterbaits. Let's put them against each other and see which is better. Before we get into it, if you're new to the channel, please hit that like and subscribe button. Also, leave me a comment if you're subbing for the first time. I'd love to say hello and welcome you to the team. So I'm going to keep it real right off the top. I don't think you can do anything wrong with the jackhammer. I think it's made well. It catches big fish. The components are amazing. I love almost everything about the jackhammer. But Berkeley has released their slobber knocker chatterbait or vibrating jig. And it is come out with a lot of fanfare. A lot of professionals have been doing great on it. And it only makes sense that we put them up against each other and compare them and see which one is the best. So we're gonna have a lot of categories in this one. We're gonna talk about price. We're gonna talk about the action, the startup speed, the colors, the pros and cons to each one. And then we're gonna give them a rating from one to 10 and we're gonna see which one is better. Which one do you think is better? I think there is room for both of these in the market because I think you're going to find out that there's subtle differences that you need to take advantage of. So in terms of noise and other things. But we're going to start off right off the bat with price. Right now when I do this video, you can get the jackhammer right now at its lowest cost of $13.58. That is a steal. Normally they're $15.99. And the, the, the Berkeley Slobber Knocker has come out on the market and they are $13.99, not $15, $13. So it's kind of hard to give a positive or a negative on this one. But if we're looking at it right now, I would say the Jackhammer is a 10 and the Slobber Knocker is a 9. Now, I don't know if it's an on sale deal. If it's on sale, I would switch those. So just to keep it even, we're gonna give them both a nine. That's just fair. Next, let's start about startup. The jackhammer is gonna win this one. The jackhammer starts up as soon as it hits the water, as it falls, that blade starts to move. Uh, it does, it literally does everything. If you have the correct trailer on this bait, it just works continuously and fast. I will say, I don't think that the slobber knocker started as well. There were a lot of times when I was in the pool that I actually had to give the rod a little bit of a twitch to get the blades to start working. Now that can have some, uh, some of that could be the water and the circulation in the pool. I didn't have it, don't ever have it when I test the jackhammer, but I did have it in on the, the slobber knocker. So, in that case, Jackhammer 10, Slobber Knocker 8. Berkeley Slobber Knocker doesn't have as much movement in the blade, and that makes the noise a little bit different. It also makes the vibration a little bit different. Uh, both have good sound. From a distance, the, the Jackhammer just, you can hear it as far away as possible and the thump of the rod of your fishing rod really moves a lot more than the the slobber knocker having said that i do believe there are times that fish can hear this bait and have heard it so much it turns them off so a little bit different pitch is always wonderful but like i said it doesn't thump or doesn't give off as much vibration as the jackhammer so in that case we're going to give the jackhammer a nine and we're gonna give the slobber knocker an eight. And the reason why the jackhammer got a point taken off, because normally I would give it a 10, is that, like I said, I think fish can feel this and hear it. They've seen a lot of them in the water, and I think it does turn some fish off now. In terms of colors, the jackhammer has 18 fantastic colors. Slobber knocker, 12. So, 10 for the jackhammer, 9 for the slobber knocker. Another one of the big things that you're going to notice with both these baits, the jackhammer doesn't do well going through a lot of cover. It usually gets snagged a lot. 
whereas the slobber knocker does not. It seems to want to deflect off cover a little bit better. And that really helps. That'll have you not lose as many lures. And when you can bounce it off stumps and things like that and not get snagged, you're going to find yourself getting bites because that reaction, that blade will stop for just a second. I looked like John Cena there, didn't I? The blade will stop for just a second and that will uh, trigger bass to give a reaction strike. They're used to feeling that vibration and then out of nowhere it stops and they'll just nab it. So in that case, if you're looking at cover, we're going to give the slobber knocker a 10 and the jackhammer a 7. Another thing that the uh, I'll be honest, I like more about the jackhammer is I like the double trailer keepers that you get to see right there. I like that. Whereas the slobber knocker doesn't have that metal that metal piece. It has a little jig kind of thing there. So if we're talking about trailer keepers, I'm going to give the slobber knocker an eight and the jackhammer is going to get a 10. When you look at both the skirts, you'll notice one's a slightly longer than the other. These are both three eight sizes. The slobber knocker here it has a really nice infused Berkeley scented trailer, whereas there uh, the slobber uh, the jackhammer has a silicone skirt. Both are silicone, but you'll notice there's a little bit more puff in the jackhammer, but the the there's a lot more skirt on the slobber knocker. To be honest, a lot of people will probably trim some of the slobber knocker and that's a good thing. This one's pr just a little bit beyond the hook and quite honestly, I kind of like the, the slobber knocker scented silicone skirt, hand tied skirt better than I like the jackhammer. I like that because that scent has allows bait to hold on to it longer and it just, you can use this bouncing it off the bottom too. So. For the slobber knocker, it's going to get a 10 for the skirt. The jackhammer, which its hook is in me, is going to get a 9. So in terms of the hooks, both are pretty much equal, to be honest. I don't think there's too big of a difference. The Berkley one is a Fusion 19. I don't know what the jackhammer is right off the top of my head. Both of them are pretty stout powerful hooks they're not going to straighten out on you so in that case i think both are pretty equal i would give them both a 10 in terms of hooks so the winner is i don't know why i'm doing this i'm gonna have to do that and edit but whatever one wins i think it's going to be the jackhammer the slobber knocker still is a really good bait it had like i said it has a different sound in the water it does deflect off cover a lot better than the jackhammer but the jackhammer is just so good i mean everyone bases tries to make the jack their chatterbait as good as the jackhammer and it's just really hard to do they've done great with this one and also the uh stealth blade is really quality quality product so it's really up to you i think there's certain times that both baits can be used i think that if you put the right trailer on each one you're gonna get a lot of bites they're both great ch uh, chatter baits and uh i can't wait to use both of them there's gonna be times like i said that either either or is going to be the one i use so hopefully you like this kind of content uh if you do please leave me a comment and tell me that you do like it and i'll continue to try to do some more Thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. Make sure you comment below and tell me what you think. Remember, take a kid fishing, get your fish on. We'll see y'all soon. Cheers.